Daily Prayer, Friday, March 19th, 2021. Solemnity of Saint Joseph. Daily Prayer, Friday, March 19th, 2021. Solemnity of Saint Joseph. The Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and from her came Jesus, who is called the Christ. The Messiah. This is how Jesus Christ was born. Mary, his mother, had been given to Joseph in marriage. But before they lived together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, made plans to divorce her in all secrecy. He was an upright man, and in no way did he want to disgrace her. While he was pondering over this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your life. She has conceived by the Holy Spirit, and now she will bear a son. You shall call him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do, and he took his wife to his home. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to respond with, his, with faith particularly when you can't see the meaning of what is happening in your life. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of Saint Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Although not much is said of him in Scripture, he seems bigger than life. Joseph's life was filled with challenges and difficulties, but he continued to trust in God's plan, and he did all he could to provide a safe and secure environment for Mary and Jesus, all because of his faith in God and his sense of being just. Pope Francis has designed 2021 as the year of Saint Joseph. We only have a little glimpse of this just man from scriptures, a few passages in Matthew's Gospel, a little in Luke's Gospel, and that's all about it. Yet, a lot can be gleaned from these passages and today's other readings for our reflection. 2 Samuel chapter 7 is God's promise to continue the line of David. From that line would come a descendant who will be in special relationship with God and rule God's people. It was from the lineage of God, David that Joseph came. Joseph extended the line to his wife's child, Jesus, the only truly beloved by God. St. Paul, in the passage from this letter to the Romans, speaks about the faith of Abraham and how all people would be blessed through Abraham and his descendants. Faith was one of the hallmarks of Saint Joseph. 
He was a descendant of Abraham, not just through blood, but also, and more importantly, through faith. And just as Abraham's faith was credited to him as justice, so Joseph's faith is what makes Joseph just. The account from Matthew speaks about Joseph's dilemma when he finds out that Mary is with child. According to the law, Joseph could and should have had Mary stoned. Being a just and a bright individual and perceiving Mary to be a descent and holy woman, Joseph decides to send her away quietly and not expose her to harsh treatment of the law. It is then revealed to him in a dream that Mary has conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and Joseph is asked to care for Mary and her child. Joseph takes her into his home and cares for her and the soon-to-be-born child. Joseph is seen protecting them during their flight to Egypt, and he looks gospel during the childhood and early life of Jesus. He also picked up that Joseph shared his trade of carpentry or building with Jesus. What makes Joseph a role model in his faith, which leads him to live his life as a person who is just in God's eyes? He believes God and trusts that God is in control. It is hard for him to deal with all that is happening in his life, but trust he does. He senses the specialness of Jesus and is willing to do what he is called to do for Jesus and Mary. He seems the strong, silent type. In all the readings on this solemnity of St. Joseph, the challenge I see for me is how can I deepen my faith? Faith is much more than intellectual agreement to a list of statements. Faith is a relationship with Jesus, his upper father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Faith is what led Joseph to take care of Mary and the child which she would bear. For Joseph, faith means accepting God's plan even when it did not make sense to him for a human standpoint. Faith empowered Joseph to deepen his relationship with Mary, with Jesus, and with God in heaven. His faith and trust in God brought him to justice and let him experience healing, salvation, which God was extending to him in and through his care, Jesus. He truly responded to the gifts which God had given him. I am called to walk in and by faith, the same type of faith that Joseph had. There are times when I do not see why things are happening. Why? It is then that I need to trust God and seek to do what I believe God is calling me to do. I'm called to rely on my relationship with God and that relationship will see me through the trying times. And if I am willing to trust that God is working in my life, I will experience the salvation and love which God is giving me in and through Jesus 
the Christ. I could be able to look up at Jesus on the wood of the cross. Jesus on the wood of the cross and know that I have healing and salvation. Not because of who I am or what I do, but because of my relationship with the one who has saved me and not only me, but also all those who put their faith in him. The personal question or action for today, how do I respond to God when I am faced with challenges which seem beyond my grasp and ability? Whom has God entrusted to my care and how can I care for that person? Trusting that God will guide me to do what the Lord Jesus wants me to do. Who has been a Joseph to me, the strong silent time, who guides and instructs me. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, ever close and yet mysterious. Through your goodness, you ask us to put our faith in you and your son. Life is not always easy for us to understand. Things do not always fall into place as we would want them to. But we are limited in our vision and cannot see as you see. You ask us to look to those people of faith who have gone before us. Abraham, Moses, David, Mary, and Joseph. They were asked to trust that you would keep your promise and bring solace to your people. Those who trust you and desire to deepen their relationship with you. You call us to look up to Jesus, lifted on the good of the cross, and realize that True life comes from his suffering, death, and resurrection. You continue to offer us healing and restoration if we turn away from our sinfulness and trust in you. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, give us the strength and wisdom we need to put our faith in you and your Son. And may we be able to experience your presence with us as we face the unexplainable happenings in our lives, knowing that your plan is beyond our limited view. We give you thanks and praise as we continue our journey of faith, for you are our God. We make this pray in and through Jesus, your Son and our brother, our Savior, who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Ân tình đó là vòng gai trên đầu, chưa đổi cho con khỏi nắng khỏi mưa.